In this video, we're going to round money to the nearest pound or 10 pence. I've got four different amounts, price stars with amounts on. And what I'll do is I'll round them to the nearest pound and 10 pence as well. So round to the nearest pound, what does that mean? As the name suggests, you're looking at which pound or amount in pounds that is closest to. So when you say to the nearest pound, we count in, in pounds only. So zero, one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, and so on. So if you look at 0 0.72, that stands between zero and a pound. So we'll show that here, zero and one pound. 50 pence would be in the middle. This is 72, so perhaps here. And as you can see, that is closer to a pound. So we'll round that to the nearest pound. That would be one, one pound. To the nearest 10p we'll look at in a minute. So this one, which pound, which amount in pounds is that closer to? So that is between 16 and 17, but it's actually spot on. And we said in previous videos that when it's halfway through, when it's between 16 and 17, and right in the middle, so 1650, we round up. Anything less than that, if it's 1649, then we're going to round down. So for that reason here, we'll round this to 17 pounds. So to the nearest pound, this is 17. What is 89 pence to the nearest pound? Now, again, this stands between zero and a pound. So 89 is probably here and it's very close to a pound, so we'll round it up. So the answer would be one pound. And how about a pound? That is spot on here on one pound, so we'll round it to a pound. We can't say two because that would be much further away. So that is again one pound. Now we'll look at rounding these amounts to the, to the nearest 10 pence. So the focus now rather than on the pounds is on the pence. We've got the pounds and they look at the 10p coins, the, the value of the 10p here. So we've got 0 0.72 or 0 pounds and 72 pence. So this is 72 pence. And that is between 70 and 80 pence. But it's only 72, so it's very close to 70 pence. It's much further away from 80 pence. So for that reason, we'll say 70 pence. Or actually, the better way to write it, since it's given in pound notation would be this this was one pound and this was 17 pounds so now this is 16 pounds and 50 pence so the focusing on the 10 p column we've got a five there so this stands between 16 pounds 50 and 16 pounds 60 but it's actually spot on 50 so it's 16 pounds 60 is much further away from this for that reason we'll, can't, we'll actually round it to 16 pound 50 so it won't change if it was 16 pounds 58 that would be much closer to 16 pounds 60. So that's why we ran it to £16.50. Looking at this, 
89 pence. Now, 89 pence stands between 80 and 90 pence, but it's very close to 90, so we'll round it to 90 pence. Where is one pound? So a pound is between one pound and two pounds, or between zero and one pound. And are there any 10p coins? No, there are not. No, there are not. So we've got this being at this point. So we can't say this is rounded to one pound. 10 pence for instance because it's much closer to the one pound itself so zero 10p coins so again to the nearest 10p this would be just one pound and if you look at the other method as well where we identify the digit for the 10p we would look at where is the 10p um, coin value, where is the digit, that's a 7. So we'll look at the digit on the right, that is a 2, which means we stay down, we round down. So we keep this as 70, so 0 pounds and 70 pence. And same thing here, identify the 10p coin digit and that is here, 50. The way we read it, £16.50. So there are five 10p coins or a 50. And to decide whether we keep this as £16.50 or go to £16.60, we look at the digit on the right. And that's a zero, which means we stay down. So we go to £16.50. And 89 pence, where is the 10p coin digit? And that is here. So we've got to either keep this as 80 pence or go to 90 pence. And looking at the 9, that tells us that we've got to round up because it's 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 that mean we round up. So we go to 90 pence. And we've got the pound. So the 10p value coin column would be here. We've got zero so it's either we stay zero or go up to one looking at the next digit that is zero as well so that means we stay down and we're left with one pound as well and round into the nearest pound so we locate the pound column there it is the unit so we've got a zero looking at the digit on the right that's a seven which means we round up so we we'll go to one pound and looking at 16 pound 50 that's the units or the pound and again looking at the five suggests that we've got to round up so we go to 17 that's why we went to 17 when we ran it to the nearest pound and looking at 89 pence now where is the pound coin represented here there is no pound coin so if it was and if we showed this as or with pound notation we'd have something like this so there is a zero that represents the units or the pound coins and again looking on the right we've got an eight which suggests that we round up so that goes to one it doesn't stay with zero so that's why we rounded to one and looking at the pound just one pound here is the pound represented looking on the right it's a zero so we're staying down so this is rounded to one pound as well